Hello, in this video we're going to take a look how to connect a LifeWell IRA data timer. What I have here is the pump connected to the timer, 9 volt battery and a configuration board. In the manual you'll find uh, how to connect the timer. So this is the simple diagram. You connect the timer to your pump, the yellow goes to the pump, configuration wire is going to the white and the green black goes to the ground and red is going to your power supply. The timer allows you to run the pump in the cycling mode instead of the full power mode. In most cases you want to save energy and also you don't need to run the pump at the full uh, flow. So once you configure that timer it will allow you to turn the pump on and off on and off in a cycling manner. In the on phase the first 10 seconds is the priming so it runs the pump always at 100%. And then you have an option either to run it at 100% or to drop the duty cycle to a lower percentage. So you can run the pump, let's say, at 25% or 50%, depends on your pump. Then there is an off phase, which is uh, optional. So you can have the off phase. You can run the pump, let's say, for 30 seconds and then shut it off for 3 minutes. And again run for 30 seconds and uh, shut it off for three minutes or you can configure the pump to run at the lower duty cycle all the time and not having the off mode or off phase uh, at all so let's take a look how we uh, can configure the pump the pump configuration is pretty simple you push two buttons before you supply the power you supply the power and then your pump turns on and you release the buttons. Now the timer is in a programming mode. Uh, your configuration is wiped out, so you have to start from scratch. So if you want to run it for a 10 second, you push the button uh, one once. And every time you push the button, it adds a 10 second period. So if you want to run for, for 20 seconds, we push it now twice or three times for 30 seconds. If you want to have the off phase, for 10 seconds, you push it once, or if you want to add uh, an extra 10 seconds, you push it uh, more and more. So every push of the button is adding at 10 seconds. Uh, and then you disconnect the power and you supply the power and your timer is going to run for 30 seconds. The LED will tell you that the output is uh, on and will run for 30 seconds uh, and then will shut off for 10 seconds. Now let's take a look if you want to configure your timer to run not having the off phase and only having the on phase but run it at the lower duty cycle. So we're going to disconnect the power, we're going to push two buttons and supply the power to go into the programming mode and release the buttons. Now if we want to run it let's say for, uh, if, if you don't want to have any off phase then you really don't care if it's 10 seconds or 20 seconds. It's just going to repeat the same phase over and over again. So we can just set it for 10 seconds. And now we need to go and change the duty cycle. To do that, you push two buttons at the same time. The pump will turn uh, on, it will turn off, and then it will turn on and, uh, and run constantly. And this is where you can adjust the duty cycle. So every time you push the button one, your duty cycle is going to lower. You can hear the motor making different noises. It's lowering the RPM. Let's say we want to run it at this RPM or this flow. We're going to disconnect the power. And now when we connect the power, the first 10 seconds is going to run at the full speed because it needs to prime the pump. And then it's going to drop to your uh, lower duty rate. And it's going to run there. Since we don't have any off time, we didn't push the button too. It's just going to run at the lower duty cycle until you shut the pump off completely, until you disconnect the power. It is not going to prime it anymore. If you have the off phase, so we uh, let's do the off phase. So we're going to into the programming mode. So let's say we want to run uh, 10 seconds at the lower RPM at the lower duty cycle and then 10 seconds off and push the first button once second button once 
Now I need to set a duty cycle. I push both of the buttons to go to the next uh, configuration menu where we can set the duty cycle. And now I can push the button one and lower the duty cycle and disconnect the power. So what's going to happen, the first 10 seconds is going to run a full, um, full speed at 100%. And then it's going to run our set duty cycle the lower duty cycle for 10 seconds so it's actually added an extra 10 seconds because it needs to prime the pump and now it's going to be off for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds because you have the off period it's going to prime the pump again for for 10 seconds and then it's going to drop the uh you just cycle to lower obviously those are short times you probably want to set it for a longer time so maybe you want to set your one period for a minute so it will run for 10 seconds and you can set extra 50 seconds to run at the lower duty cycle and then have some uh, have some uh, time uh, off if you don't set the time off you're just going to run at your lower duty cycle because it's already primed the pump Timer has two configurations, two memories. So you can configure one cycling pattern, let's say 30 seconds on, three minutes off, as the configuration number one. And then configuration number two, you can set it for just a run at the lower duty cycle without the time off. And you can switch between uh, them. To do that, you would need to connect a switch to the blue wire. So if it's not connected, like in our first case, we didn't connect the blue wire. It just default configuration number one. If you want to have two configurations, then you need to configure the, you need to connect the button that connects the blue wire to the ground. And to configure the second mode, you'll be grounding the blue wire through your switch and then going through the standard uh, configuration that I just showed you. So it's the same thing, the same uh, configuration steps, it's just the blue wire needs to be grounded. So once you do that, you can then flip and flop between those two configurations. Ultimately, you can make the second configuration to run at the full speed, uh, at 100%. Um, so if you want to s switch kind of to a manual mode, you can just ground the blue wire. Alternatively, you can use the this circuit where you have the off, on, and cycle switch. So this will allow you to uh, bypass the timer by supplying the power right to the pump. Uh, if the power would be supplied to the timer, then it runs in a cycling mode, and you can also have two cycling modes. So this configuration is more complex two switches the first one will would allow you to switch between on off and cycling modes and the second uh, switch would allow you to switch between first and second cycling modes